Well, big business usually dominates the headlines, but research consistently shows that small and medium enterprises are the backbone of the South African economy. Well, policy often acknowledges this, but it doesn't translate into tangible assistance. The SA Future Trust was founded last year in response to COVID-19's impact. It's working to ensure that the sustainability and growth of the sector is maintained through funding. Well, to date, almost 10,000 small businesses have been assisted through a billion rands worth of interest-free loans. Nikki and Jonathan Oppenheimer have been driving this initiative. Jonathan joined me earlier this week from London. I started by asking him what prompted this initiative and what the assistance actually entails. Well, thanks so much, Annika. Firstly, uh, the opportunity to set up the South Africa Future Trust was uh, <clears throat> a once-in-a-lifetime I think, response to the crisis that COVID represented and was very much triggered by a conversation that I had with my children where they were determined that we should be able to do something in the South African context. And what we did very quickly was set up a, a fund with a billion rand gift to the South Africa Future Trust from the Oppenheimer Generations Philanthropies, which is our um, family giving wing. And uh, they, in turn, uh, that is the South Africa Future Trust, on lent that money to SMMEs where the money flowed directly to employees nominated by those companies. And you mentioned the just under 10,000 loan agreements we settled. But that's uh, what's, what's super interesting is that represented over 100,000 or just under 100,000 people who received uh, money for over a 15-week period so that they could then, in turn, uh, access the, the formal channels that government had established through grants and, and uh, UIF and other funding. That leads me to my next question. How do you actually select these businesses? Because I'm sure that uh, so many of them are desperate for this kind of assistance. Uh, but how do they know how to access it and how do you select them? So in the crisis, we were incredibly lucky to have the most amazing partners in the South African major banks. So FMB, Standard, Nedbank, uh, ABSA, Investec and Capitec or Mercantile um, all came to the party and effectively provided pro bono their um, selection processes and their client lists of SMMEs. And the application went to your primary bank. And interestingly, there were over 40,000 applications for South Africa Future Trust money. We were only able to support just under 10,000, as you said. And that was predominantly because we ran out of money uh, to provide those people. We could have done more if we'd had more. How did the businesses you've helped manage under, firstly, the COVID-19 pandemic, and secondly, uh, the July riots, which were catastrophic for so many, especially small businesses? Uh, you couldn't you couldn't have phrased it better. Uh, we've found we've done quite a lot of uh, follow up with the SMMEs that we've supported, and what's a couple of things have stood out. Firstly, is the remarkable resilience of our SME sector. We'd anticipated a very high failure rate through COVID, and uh, to date, and uh, it may change yet, but to date that has proved uh, a wildly pessimistic expectation. The failure rate so far has been much lower than we expected. Uh, the riots in July, however, put an enormous strain on those uh, SMMEs that we supported through KwaZulu, uh, KwaZulu and, and Gauteng. And that in itself uh, shows that the, the, the level of savings within those SME communities has clearly declined through COVID and the f subsequent crises. So there really is a, a very, very important need to, to create an environment where these SMMEs can bounce back and reestablish themselves and then grow further, creating more jobs. And that really is the, the intention and the goal. And we have this, uh, this plan to use the money that comes back from the short-term COVID support that we provided as these loans are repaid to further extend help to the SMME community uh, through everything that we, we're trying to do uh, in what I, I'm calling Chapter 2 or Version 2.0 of the South Africa Future Trust. Well, stay tuned for 